Hello and thanks for visiting my channel. Today I'm going to share with you details of my rear seat delete, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and why it's coming out. Before I get started, I've noticed that I have surpassed 500 subscribers and I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has uh, clicked the subscribe. Uh, feel free to click that subscription bell to be notified when I upload new content. Uh, I don't upload two, three times a week, so you're not going to get spam with a bunch of stuff every time I upload something. Well, you will get notified when I upload, but I only upload videos every other week or so. That might be why you need to be notified when I upload something, because I don't really have a great schedule right now. I mentioned to you a while back, uh, I think two videos ago, that I had done this and I wanted to have a shot to um, perfect it, make it pretty. It's been functional for a couple of months and I've been planning to maybe lay down some matching denier fabrics and black material so that the carpets match because uh, the carpet that I put on my new um, delete package does not match the factory carpet and I'm kind of meticulous about stuff like that. So I wanted to put down something to make it all match. But it's just too hot. Uh, I don't like working in my car when it's hot outside. And um, I've just been kind of procrastinating and doing some house projects. So I mean, I keep busy where I can stay comfortable. And I just haven't gotten around to it. But I have been testing and testing and testing. And uh, in the end, I have decided I'm going to remove the rear seat delete. But let me tell you about the rear seat delete first. My plan, um, my daughter is growing up and out of the house. So I don't use the back seat hardly at all anymore. So I thought, let me try to make this a little bit more utilitarian and see what I can do with it. I've seen some rear seat deletes online. Uh, there's a company out there that builds them professionally and their prices reflect their professionalism. The packages look really good, but I thought I could do something for less. And I wanted to be able to access the area uh, underneath the panel because there's, once you build that up where the rear seat was to where it matches the level of the, the trunk area, there's about two and a half to three cubic feet of area under there that you can use for storage. And I wanted to access that. So I made doors on mine that fold up like this. So when I'm at the doors, I can just lift them right up and get in there and access them. Over on this side, I have some um, emergency equipment like flashers and maybe some tools and things like that. And then over on this side, I have maybe some uh, wrenches and things like that for my trailer my hitch and stuff like that and there's plenty of room left for me to load more stuff into them for a camping trip that was my end goal was to outfit the car for camping still haven't been on a camping trip but um, outfit then explore right i've been running like this for a while and uh, the flat area uh, the rear seat when you fold that rear seat down it it comes down to about like this so it's not perfectly flat and the rear seat delete folds perfectly flat. It's like completely flush all the way through the back of the car. And that's been great. Uh, I've been moving some stuff out of storage and into a new shed and the car I've had it just loaded and packed full of so much stuff. And this rear seat delete has helped with that uh, to at least a small degree. It lets in a little bit more noise, which I was getting ready to mitigate that with some soundproofing, but again, it's just too stinking hot to be working on the car. Maybe I'll still do some soundproofing in the fall, but um, I've kind of gotten used to the sound level. In fact, uh, here I am, I'm, gonna, I'm about to remove all of this and I'm gonna record uh, my removal process here. And then when I put the seat back in, I'd be curious to see what everything sounds like during my morning commute. I'm so used to it now that maybe I'll notice a, a difference in sound, we'll see. Uh, structurally, uh, there is a frame, and I will show some uh, some B-roll on this to, to show you how it's all put together, or pictures. Um, it's a frame that locks into the hinge area for the seat backs, and to keep that from coming out, there's a two by two that goes across, and it just jams everything in place to where it cannot come undone. And then my uh, my fold-up door is basically they, they set in place, but they're pressed in with a little bit of tension. And there's another board that goes through to hold it down in the back. They're pretty sturdy. They're not really going to go anywhere. But if I got into a really bad crash, uh, especially if the car rolled over, it's going to come off. But so would the professionally made one. It's, it's just basically set in place. It, it might be screwed down, but I don't think it is. So uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, if you know. But I, I'm pretty sure there's just lifts out as well. So... We're not talking about a lot of structural rigidity or safety here, but I do think I have it 
anchored in there pretty good and you'll see when I remove it. Uh, why am I removing it? You know, there's a lot of stuff I like about it, the utility I like about it, but um, the noise bothers me a little bit, but not nearly as much as when I have something in the back. Um, I mean, take a look here. This is a pretty, a pretty big area. It's 39 inches across and then 58 inches all the way front to back. And so it's a pretty big area. And so you can imagine that whenever I put something small back there, you know, maybe this camera or something, my uh, satchel that I take to work, or maybe a bag that I shop for Lowe's or something, when it's something small, it just slides everywhere. Uh, my hitch locks, when I use my trailer, I'll take my hitch lock and I'll put it in, I'll put it back here, and inevitably it'll wind up flying forward, and then uh, it'll wind up behind the front seats on the floor or something like that. So nothing really stays put. And oddly enough, when I was shopping for Mini Coopers many years ago, many, many, um, people complained about the small trunk, but one of the things that I appreciated about that small trunk was if I put something right here and shut the door and then go on a spirited drive when I open the door, that thing was going to be right here because there's no place for it to go. The, the back seat, when I put the back seat in, it's going to give me some cargo containment and I didn't realize how much I would appreciate that, but now I do. I'm going to put the back seat back in and, um, and then drive it and enjoy it and see what happens. Anyway, I've been talking long enough. Let me go ahead and show you how all of this comes out. Uh, I'm going to speed up the video so you can see so the video doesn't go on too much longer. But uh, basically what I do is uh, I take the two doors and I fold them up this way. And once they are folded up into a little triangle, then I can just grab them and lift them out and then slide them out the door, set them aside. And then I remove the center pieces that wedge the sides apart and support the, uh, the hinges of the door. And once those are out, I don't even need any tools to get the rest of it out. It just, actually, I don't need any tools for any of this. Everything just comes right on out. It's pretty easy. It all wedges in there and it's pretty secure, but all without tools. I can get this package out of my car in less than five minutes. Uh, and then uh, putting the rear seat back in, that'll, that'll take a little bit more time, but it's not awful. Uh, the toughest part on the rear seat is from remembering where I left the clip that holds the center hinge for the seat backs in place. Once the back seat is in, the seat back I should say, once the seat back is in, then I got to uh, uh, secure the pieces that hold the hinges down. I've got a seat belt anchor I have to secure, and then I can grab the seat bottom and put that into place. It's really not bad at all. I do not intend to get rid of this rear seat delete. So, uh, you know, if you're thinking you'd like to get your hands on it, sorry, I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to save it for uh, maybe like a camping trip or something. There, it will come in useful. I've got a storage area for it in my shed. I'll just put it where my back seat is right now. There you have it. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to ask questions if you have them. As always, thanks for visiting and I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have. Uh, Take care.